young man unexpectedly acquired the shake system. Every day, he could shake a dice to reset his attributes. Yeah, he had shaken it for 11 years straight. Each time, his attributes were either that of a millennium's worth of trash or of 10 millenniums worth of rubbish. Now, he has become numb to the daily routine of shaking. He swore to only start cultivating after shaking an exceptional attribute. Today, as usual, he shook and got the spiritual root of a millennium's worth of trash again. Frustrated, he spat out a mouthful of blood. With a sense of resignation, he began to shake his innate destiny. Suddenly, a streak of golden light flashed by. He actually shook out a super grade innate destiny with four attributes. Top level charm, top level swordsmanship aptitude, top level agility. After the game of life begins, he will obtain an unparalleled cultivation technique and 1,000 high grade spirit stones. He was completely stunned. Then, he lay on the ground, laughing madly. From now on, I just need to focus on shaking for a high quality spiritual root qualification. Now that I have this superior destiny, even if I shake until I'm 40, so what? In the not too distant future, there will definitely be a place for me in this cultivation world. The young man is named Han Ju. His parents, who were servants of Old Tai, an alchemist of the Jade Pure Sex Outer Sect, usually planted elixirs for him. But in the year he turned six, his parents abandoned Han Ju and ran away. Thus, Han Ju took over his parents' job. One day, two cultivators from the Jade Pure Sex Inner Sect suddenly arrived at this medicine valley. It turned out that Old Tai was out on business, and the sect specifically asked them to guard this place. Just like that, another two years passed, and Han Ju hadn't shaken a single high-quality spiritual root. My luck is really too bad. I'm afraid I might die shaking without ever getting a superior spiritual root. Just then, Old Tai came back and called for everyone to assemble. Old Tai first praised everyone. You all did well while I was away. No problems occurred, and I am very pleased. Everyone looked deeply moved. This is what we should do. It's our honor to relieve our master of worries. Han Ju, however, looked unimpressed. Pfft, a bunch of bootlickers. No matter how sweet your words, this old man won't give you any real benefits. At that moment, Old Tai suddenly called Han Ju and three others over to him for a spiritual root qualification check. Han Ju thought, hasn't he always forbidden servants from cultivating? Wait, this is. There's blood on his clothes. Old Tai is injured? Fortunately, Han Ju had never shaken a good spiritual root. Then another chubby kid was found to have a spiritual root, and Old Tai immediately said, I wish to take you as my disciple and take you outside the valley to cultivate. Would you like that? The chubby kid was ecstatic. I would love to. Only Han Ju knew. This chubby kid might never come back. This world is too dangerous. I need to hurry up and shake out a spiritual root for cultivation. Three years passed just like that. Suddenly, a loud pig-like laughter came from Han Ju's room. Han Ju was so excited that he rolled around on the ground, for he had shaken out a top-level spiritual root containing six attributes. Han Ju was about to start cultivating with the help of the system, but then he suddenly thought of old Tai, that old geezer. That chubby kid has never been seen again since he was taken away, probably dead by now. It would be dangerous if he found out I was cultivating. At that moment, the system suddenly popped up a notification. You can choose a small place, and the system will help create a barrier. Cultivators outside the barrier will not be able to detect any changes inside. Han Ju was overjoyed. A barrier could be created in that case. Today, I, Han Ju, will officially step onto the path of cultivation. System, begin. The next moment, he appeared in the system space. Options floated before his eyes. Now that you have unexpectedly awakened the inheritance of the immortal emperor and obtained an unparalleled technique, six realms of reincarnation, and set forth on the path of cultivation, please choose your main cultivation path. Han Ju thought the six realms of reincarnation must involve cultivating all six types of spiritual roots together. He immediately decided to choose Sword Cultivator as his main cultivation path. Then, he watched as all the surrounding spiritual energy was absorbed into his body. Han Ju instantly felt powerful and discovered an added relationship panel. Upon opening it, he found his relationship with Old Tai was marked as hatred. Han Ju couldn't help but grit his teeth in anger. Damn it, Old Tai, you bastard. I've been toiling away at planting grass for you, and you still hate me? Wait, Old Tai's pettiness probably stems from my parents running away, but he hasn't done anything to me. He has been gone somewhere in the recent years, so I can cultivate in peace. Immediately, Han Ju calmed his mind and began to cultivate peacefully. Han Ju felt the spiritual energy of wind, earth, wood, and water around him, but there was no fire and thunder spiritual energy. Without further thought, he decided to first cultivate these four types of spiritual energy well. Just then, the system popped up again with two options. First, obtain an energy cultivation realm magical tool. Second, unlock the ability to hide one's cultivation level and spiritual root. Han Ju felt, to be able to hide one's cultivation level and spiritual root, this system is really thoughtful. Without hesitation, he chose the second option. Time flew by, and two years passed. Han Ju's four types of spiritual energy had now been cultivated to the seventh level of the energy cultivation realm. However, just when Han Ju thought he could continue to cultivate peacefully, trouble came knocking. As Han Ju was about to return, an inner sect disciple named Xing Hongxian found him and directly asked him to 
follow her to a small forest. Han Ju was puzzled. I don't know her. Why would she suddenly ask me to go to a small forest? Immediately, he opened the relationship list and found that Xing Hongxian had two stars of goodwill towards Han Ju. Could she be wanting to dual cultivate with me? Should I comply or comply? Just when Han Ju was slightly excited, Xing Hongxian said, Help me get old Tai's pill recipe and I'll take you away from the Jade Pure sect to join the demon cult. If your aptitude is good and you achieve some level of cultivation, I might even consider becoming your cultivation partner. Han Ju was instantly petrified. Damn, this woman is a demon cultivator. Han Ju immediately felt despair. Offending the Jade Pure sect would get me chased to the ends of the earth, but if I refuse, this witch will definitely kill me to silence me. Although she and I are both at the seventh level of the energy cultivation realm, I haven't learned any spells. I must not confront her directly. Han Ju immediately said, I don't know where the item is, and there's also your fellow sect member guarding the attic. But Xing Hongxian pressed him down. The item is in the attic. As for the other person, I will take care of luring them away. Then she took out a black pill, just in case. This pill can help you activate your spiritual root. Without waiting for any reaction from Han Ju, she stuffed it into his mouth and forced him to swallow. As soon as Han Ju returned to his room, he had the system help him expel the elixir. While Han Ju was considering whether to follow Xing Hongxuan's orders, the system popped up. First, steal the pill recipe, win Xing Hongxuan's favor, and earn a five-star hatred from the Jade Pure sect. Second, absolutely refuse, prevent Xing Hongxian from getting the pill recipe to acquire the sword technique, Supreme Finger Divine Sword. Looking at the two options provided by the system, Han Ju didn't hesitate to choose the second one. That night, while Han Ju was cultivating in his room, Xing Hongxian suddenly appeared outside his window. I have found out that the pill recipe is in the study. I will lure the guard on Old Tai's attic away in a moment. You go in and search. Remember, there is a formation in the attic. If anything goes wrong, Old Tai will rush back immediately. You don't have much time, so be quick. Soon, Han Ju arrived at the attic, and indeed, everyone had been lured away. Han Ju went into the study, pretending to search. He pretended to look around casually, and then started to slack off. What a joke. The storeroom is so big. How can I possibly find it? This witch could have sneaked in herself to find the pill recipe much more easily, yet she insists on making such a big fuss. Is she out of her mind? People really are different. Even the pen's old Thai uses are made of gold, while we, the medicine slaves, can only scrape by on the bare minimum. The damned rich landlords. Xing Hongxian suddenly appeared behind Han Ju. What are you mumbling about? Did you find the pill recipe? Seeing that Han Ju wasn't really looking for the pill recipe, Xing Hongxian was about to kill him. Han Ju, scared, bumped into a cabinet, and a vase fell from the cabinet. The pill recipe then appeared before them both. Han Ju was completely numb. No, old Thai, this is not how you hide things. It's over. Now that she has the pill recipe, she'll definitely kill to silence me. Just as Xing Hongxian lunged at him, unexpectedly, Xing Hongxian excitedly hugged Han Ju. You really are my lucky charm. I never expected the honest you to create such romance. Watching Xing Hongxuan's excited demeanor, Han Ju thought to himself, I must not let her get the pill recipe, or my supreme finger divine sword technique will be gone. He picked up a brick, ready to stealthily knock her out, when suddenly an attack hit them both. Han Ju was blasted away, and the pill recipe flew into the hands of the newcomer, who was none other than Old Tai. Daring to covet the pill recipe, you are truly audacious. Seeing she was no match for Old Tai, Xing Hongxian didn't hesitate to run away. When Han Ju, lying on the ground, woke up and saw Old Tai, he immediately said, Lord, you've finally come. I almost lost my life trying to stall that witch. Afterward, Old Tai asked Han Ju to explain the situation clearly. Once Han Ju had told everything to Old Tai, he didn't make things difficult for him. Seeing that he had successfully bluffed his way through, Han Ju quickly scurried away. At this moment, the system also sent a notification. Mission completed. Successfully obtained Supreme Finger Divine Sword. Another two years passed. Han Ju had cultivated all four types of spiritual root to the ninth level of the energy cultivation realm. He was only short of cultivating the lightning and fire spiritual roots to the ninth level to break through to the foundation establishment realm. It was also time for him to leave this place. Taking advantage of the twilight, he took his back and left the place he had lived in for 20 years. He directly arrived at the gate of the Jade Pure sect. My name is Han Ju, a rogue cultivator at the ninth level of the energy cultivation realm, wishing to join the Jade Pure sect. May I know if there's a way in? The gatekeeper was about to report it. When he happened upon the outer sect steward, Yang Luo, he immediately had Han Ju demonstrate his spiritual energy. Han Ju casually executed a move of the Supreme Finger Divine Sword, slicing off the top of a mountain. This move directly stunned the three of them. Without another word, Yang Luo took Han Ju to register. On the way, Han Ju asked, Does the Jade Pure Sect have a place for cultivating lightning and fire spiritual energy? Yang Luo was startled upon hearing this. Could this person be a lightning spiritual root? Then he said, The inner sect might have such places, but the qualification to enter the inner sect is reaching the foundation establishment stage. However, if you are a lightning spiritual root, you might be an exception and be allowed to join the inner sect directly. Hearing this, Han Ju immediately showed his lightning spiritual root. Then, Yang 
Yang Luo took Han Ju to see an elder, and Han Ju casually displayed three of his spiritual roots. Just like that, Han Ju easily joined the inner sect, and even received a luxurious welcome package. The elder and Yang Luo told him to rest well, and said they would take him to the inner sect once the great elder returned. Han Ju sighed lightly, I accidentally became a key figure to be looked after, but he soon discovered there was fire spiritual energy here, and without a second thought, he started cultivating it. Half a year later, the great elder returned. Yang Luo immediately came to inform Han Ju. Upon opening the door, Yang Luo was surprised to find that Han Ju had been cultivating all this half year. When Han Ju opened his eyes, he had already cultivated his fire spiritual root to the fourth level of the energy cultivation realm. Then, he went with Yang Luo to meet the Great Elder. The Great Elder directly said to Han Ju, The sect has 18 peaks, which means there are 18 teaching elders. If someone takes a liking to you, you can directly become an inner sect disciple. Otherwise, you will have to reach foundation establishment as soon as possible to participate in the sect's minor competition. Then, the Great Elder took Han Ju on a flying gourd towards the inner sect. On the way, the Great Elder introduced the various elders of the inner sect to Han Ju. Each peak has its own atmosphere due to the character of the teaching elder. Some are low-key and focus on hard cultivation, while others are off and on on missions. So, what kind of cultivation atmosphere do you wish to join? Han Ju thought for a moment. I'll choose the low-key and hard cultivation path. I don't like bustle and I don't like being high-profile. The Great Elder looked at Han Ju with a meaningful glance, then chuckled. Jade seclusion peak suits you very well. You will definitely like it there. Upon entering the inner sect, they were stunned by the scenery before them. Han Ju had thought the Jade Pure sect was just a small sect, but it turned out to be so vast. The Great Elder flew around, introducing the various places of the inner sect to Han Ju. When they arrived at Jade Seclusion Peak, the entire mountain seemed quiet and serene. The Great Elder said, The teaching elder of Jade Seclusion Peak is Shishuan Fairy. Her cultivation is profound and inscrutable, and she likes to cultivate in seclusion, making Jade Seclusion Peak quiet. Moreover, she does not allow her disciples to have romantic entanglements, so Jade Seclusion Peak is mainly composed of hard cultivators. Hearing this, Han Ju's eyes lit up. This place is simply my heaven. Upon entering the main hall, the Great Elder introduced Han Ju to Shishuan Fairy. Shishuan Fairy asked, Han Ju, are you willing to focus solely on cultivation without concerning yourself with worldly matters? Just as Han Ju was about to answer, he heard a voice. Finally, Jade Seclusion Peak has got a decent junior brother. A girl approached. Han Ju immediately opened the relationship list and found that Chan Yuer had two hearts of goodwill towards him. But Han Ju immediately replied, Shishuan Fairy, unless ordered, I can stay in seclusion for a hundred years without stepping outside. Upon hearing this, Chan Yuer's goodwill immediately dropped to one star. Then, Shishuan Fairy asked Han Ju to launch an attack on her. Immediately, Han Ju gathered all his strength into a sword energy, rushing towards Shishuan Fairy like lightning. But just as it was about to hit Shishuan Fairy, the sword energy vanished into thin air. Shishuan Fairy asked lightly, Is this the only move you know? Han Ju honestly admitted it. Shishuan Fairy then said, This sword technique is not bad. From now on, stay at Jade Seclusion Peak. The Great Elder left Han Ju a meaningful smile before leaving, but Han Ju noticed Shishuan Fairy staring intently at him, just as he was puzzled about the situation. Chan Yu or quickly hinted, she's telling you to pay your respects as a disciple. Only then did Han Ju realize, and he quickly knelt in front of Shishuan Fairy. Disciple Han Ju pays respects to Master. May Master live forever. Shishuan Fairy was rendered speechless by Han Ju's actions. Do you think your Master is an Empress? Well, Yuer, take your junior brother to register at the inner sect and help him arrange for a cave dwelling. Chan Yuer immediately dragged Han Ju away with joy. On the way, Chan Yuer heartily told Han Ju to come to her if he needed anything. Chan Yuer's direct gaze made Han Ju dare not look her in the eye. He hurriedly said, I wouldn't dare to trouble senior sister. If senior sister needs anything, feel free to instruct your junior brother. This made Chan Yuer extremely happy. I've been at Jade Seclusion Peak for five years, and finally, a good-looking junior brother with an attitude and personality that suits my taste has arrived. I can't let him run away. Han Ju, observing his senior sister's expression, filled with a greedy ferocity like that of a wolf, couldn't help but feel a surge of fear. This Jade Seclusion Peak doesn't live up to its name. Why are all the female disciples like wolves? wolves and tigers. Soon, Chang Yuer had arranged Han Ju's cave dwelling, even placing him next to her own dwelling. After the senior sister left, Han Ju took a good look at his cave dwelling, once again marveling at the luxury of the inner sect. Then he remembered that his master's realm was at the third level of the nascent soul realm in the relationship list. This is the strongest cultivator I've come into contact with so far. I must cling to such a powerful figure. The known levels of cultivation from low to high are respectively energy cultivation realm, foundation establishment realm, golden core realm, nascent soul realm. In the entire Jade Pure set, only the founding ancestor's realm has reached beyond the nascent soul realm. Yet he has been away for many years and has not returned. Just as he was preparing to start cultivating, the system suddenly popped up and gave Han Ju two options. First, earn 
earn reputation and lead Jade Seclusion Peak to become the most powerful peak. The reward for the mission is an unparalleled magical tool, but it would offend Shishuan Fairy. Second, cultivate in a low-profile manner and gain recognition from Shishuan Fairy, which would reward a secret manual for agility. Upon seeing the first option, Han Ju was instantly speechless. Earning reputation and leading Jade Seclusion Peak to become the most powerful peak sounds like a good thing, doesn't it? Why would it offend Shishuan Fairy? This master is a bit strange. Before he knew it, another three years had passed. Han Ju had cultivated all but his lightning spiritual root to the ninth level of the energy cultivation realm. He immediately sought out his master. Master, I have now cultivated both the wind and fire spiritual roots to the ninth level of the energy cultivation realm. Could master guide me to where I can cultivate lightning spiritual energy? Shishuan Fairy looked at Han Ju in surprise. Are you aiming for a foundation establishment with three types of spiritual power? But Shishuan Fairy immediately threw cold water on Han Ju's plans. Specializing in just one type of spiritual energy is already extremely difficult, and you're planning to specialize in three, not to mention the heavenly tribulation will be stronger later on. The time lost in cultivation is also a loss. Han Ju understood. Indeed, there is a reason. Having these spiritual roots must come with a price. It's just that master probably didn't expect that I have my own methods. He then stated, disciple will spend all his time on cultivation. Seeing this, Shishuan Fairy's mouth slightly curved up. The inner sect has a teleportation array leading to the Thunder Spirit Pool. Soon, Han Ju arrived at the Thunder Spirit Pool and was again astonished by the grandeur of the Jade Pure Sect. I originally thought the so-called Thunder Spirit Pool was just a small pond. It seems I was looking at the sky from the bottom of a well. At this moment, he noticed that the vast Thunder Spirit Pool had only one person cultivating. While he was dazed, suddenly, a tree trunk with a human face appeared behind Han Ju. Do not wander around inside the Thunder Spirit Pool. You can only cultivate by the poolside. Otherwise, if you're struck by lightning and die, it's your own fault. Immediately, a wretched scream echoed throughout the entire Thunder Spirit Pool. It took Han Ju a moment to realize, to actually encounter a tree demon, the Jade Pure Sect has really invested heavily. Even a tree demon is present, which is known as a cultivation catalyst. Though it looks a bit sinister, cultivating near it will definitely double the efficiency. I've really come to the right place. He then excitedly shouted, I must cultivate to the ninth level within a year. The other person cultivating at the Thunder Spirit Pool, upon hearing this, couldn't help but be speechless. Are these even human words? That's too arrogant. However, a year later, he was thoroughly proven wrong. Han Ju actually managed to cultivate his lightning spiritual energy from zero to the ninth level within a year. By this time, Han Ju had finally reached the great perfection in all six types of energy cultivation, purple electricity continuously wrapping around his body. He then decided to go straight for foundation establishment. The blue-haired young man in the field suddenly looked up at the sky, only to see a large amount of purple electricity gathering above. The might of this thunder tribulation shocked him. Then, the tree demon appeared behind the young man. Foundation establishment thunder tribulation? Damn, he really picked the place. Triggering the thunder tribulation in this thunder spirit pool will at least double its power. You better get out of here to avoid being affected. It's too late for him to save himself. The tribulation clouds have already formed. In their eyes, Han Ju was undoubtedly going to die this time. Others prepare thoroughly before facing their tribulation, but Han Ju was directly undergoing his tribulation in the thunder spirit pool, doubling the power of the thunder tribulation. What was even more terrifying was that he directly absorbed the heavenly tribulation, turning it into his power for foundation establishment. Two years later, his realm had reached the third level of the foundation establishment realm, and his lifespan was almost 200 years. Han Ju cultivated because he feared death. While he was secretly pleased, the system popped up two options again. First, become famous in the Jade Pure Sect, which would grant the Nine Nether Thunder technique and earn the hatred of Shishuan Fairy. Second, quietly cultivate to form the Golden Core early, which would reward a supreme magical sword. Han Ju was speechless again at the first option. How much does my master dislike fame? Then, the blue-haired young man cultivating at the Thunder Spirit Pool came up behind Han Ju. My name is Mafuchu of Thunder Peak. May I have your name? Han Ju also politely introduced himself. Upon learning that Han Ju was from Jade Seclusion Peak, Mafuchu immediately tried to recruit him. A junior brother of Jade Seclusion Peak? With your talent, it's a waste to join Jade Seclusion Peak. Why not come to my Thunder Peak? My master is a Thunder Cultivator. Han Ju didn't even think before politely declining. I have already taken Shishuan Ferry as my master. A master for a day is a father for life. How can I casually change allegiances? Thank you for your kindness, Brother Mo. But then, the system suddenly popped up a notification. Han Ju glanced at it and was shocked. The system displayed several statuses of Xing Hong Xian. Your friend Xing Hong Xian has been heavily injured and narrowly escaped death from being hunted down by the Jade Pure Sect. Your friend Xing Hong Xian has been hunted down by fellow sect members, but luckily managed to counterkill. Your friend Xing Hong Xian has betrayed the Azure Nether Demon Sect and is being hunted down. Your friend Xing Hong Xuan's goodwill towards you has increased. Current goodwill is four stars. Han
Han Ju was speechless. After so many years, this woman is still alive, but we haven't even seen each other. Where did this goodwill come from? Is she okay? Meanwhile, Xing Hongxian was continuously dodging pursuers, breathing a sigh of relief, finally got rid of the demon cult. As she was confused about where to go next, she suddenly thought of Han Ju. When Han Ju was about to hit her with a brick, coincidentally blocking most of Old Tai's attack, Xing Hongxian mistakenly thought Han Ju was protecting her. This was the first time in her life someone had stood up for her. Xing Hongxian had firmly come to regard Han Ju as her husband in her heart. As Han Ju returned to his cave dwelling and was about to start cultivating, he heard the sound of bells. When Han Ju came out of his dwelling, he encountered Chan Yuer and learned that this was the signal for the master to assemble all disciples. The two then flew on their swords towards the main hall. Upon Han Ju's arrival in the hall, it was already filled with a large number of disciples. Han Ju's appearance also caused quite a stir among the disciples. At this moment, Shishuan Fairy, seeing that everyone had arrived, directly said, following the sect leader's order, from now on, in the 18 peaks battles, the last three peaks will send disciples to participate in the fight against the Azure Nether Demon sect. In recent years, the Azure Nether Demon sect has repeatedly sent spies to plot against the Jade Pure sect. The sect leader has declared that we should prepare to retaliate. Han Ju was speechless, sending the bottom three peaks. Isn't this just delivering them on a platter? At this time, the eldest disciple, Lu Sanqin, stated, although our Jade seclusion peak has always been low profile, we also want to serve the sect. Master, the sect has recently launched an outstanding disciple training program, selecting the most outstanding disciples from each peak for cultivation to be the foundation of the next generation of the sect. Isn't this tailor-made for me? Unexpectedly, Shishuan Fairy chose Han Ju. Lu Sanqin and Han Ju, upon hearing this, were both shocked and broke out in a cold sweat. Han Ju quickly refused. I am honored by Master's high regard, but I only wish to quietly cultivate at Jade Seclusion Peak. Please give this opportunity to my fellow brothers and sisters. Han Ju also guessed. Master values me this much. Could it be she suspects me of being a demon sect spy? Better safe than sorry. I'll still refuse. Seeing Han Ju so resolute, Shishuan Fairy didn't say much more. Really? Then, Lu Sanqin, you go. You are the eldest disciple of Jade Seclusion Peak. You must not cause trouble. Afterward, Lu Sanqin specially came to Han Ju to express his thanks. Junior brother, I have to thank you for speaking well of me to the master. If you encounter any trouble in the future, feel free to tell your elder brother. Han Ju smiled. Then, I wish elder brother smooth sailing. At this moment, Chan Yuer hurriedly came over. Elder brother, I can take care of the junior brother. The elder brother immediately understood Chan Yuer's intention and, before leaving, gave Han Ju a meaningful smile. Then Chan Yuer said, Speaking of which, junior brother, you've been cultivating for so long and haven't done any sect missions, right? Want me to take you? Doing sect missions can earn a lot of cultivation resources. No need, senior sister. I still have enough spirit stone resources. Chan Yuer then added, The contribution points from doing missions can be exchanged for elixirs, to which Han Ju responded, I'm afraid of death, so forget it. Chan Yuer became angry. How can we cultivators be afraid of death? If we're not afraid of death, then why bother cultivating for immortality? This left Chan Yuer unable to retort. Shishuan Fairy, overhearing Han Ju's astonishing statement, was also left speechless for a moment. It seems Han Ju is indeed not a spy from the demon sect, but a rogue cultivator without a lack of resources and with superior talent. Still, we should observe a bit longer. Just like that, another ten years passed. Han Ju once again came to the Thunder Spirit Pool. As soon as Han Ju arrived, the tree demon started causing trouble. I thought you were a genius before, but so many years have passed, and you're still at the foundation establishment third level? Han Ju nonchalantly scratched his head. Well, who can say for sure with cultivation? He was only showing his lightning spiritual root. His other five types of spiritual roots had already reached the fifth level of the foundation establishment. At this moment, Mafuchu also walked over, followed by a girl. Mafuchu introduced her to Han Ju. This is my sister, Ma Zhu. Upon seeing Han Ju, Ma Zhu immediately asked, Why are you still at the foundation establishment third level? My brother said you might be at the sixth level by now. Han Ju just chuckled, eh, taking it step by step. Then he sat down cross-legged, ready to start cultivating. I'll start cultivating now. Staying here costs quite a few spirit stones. Just a heads up, if you want to cultivate, please stay a bit away from me. As soon as he finished speaking, he began absorbing the surrounding spiritual energy into himself. Mafuchu, seeing this, was shocked. This absorption speed of spiritual energy is even more terrifying than mine. How is this possible? I'm at the foundation establishment 9th level. This person must have a way to suppress his cultivation level. His real cultivation level must not be below mine. Han Ju has been cultivating like this for 8 years, finally cultivating his lightning power to the 9th level to perfection. As Han Ju prepared to leave, the tree demon said, I have an opportunity here that can provide many cultivation resources. Would you be interested? Hmm? Is it dangerous? Opportunities always come with risks. Hearing there were risks, Han Ju didn't even think before turning around to leave. Just as Han Ju was collecting his salary for the past few years, Ma Zhu suddenly approached him.
him. I have a favor to ask of Han Ju. It's a great opportunity. Upon hearing about the opportunity, Han Ju couldn't hold back any longer and refused without a second thought. Sorry, I need to go back to cultivate, and then disappeared in front of Ma Zhu. Suddenly, Han Ju overheard passersby talking about the intersect competition. He was struck as if by lightning. I've cultivated too intensely and forgot about such an important event. Master might skin me alive for this. Han Ju immediately went to find Shishuan Fairy and confessed his mistake. Fortunately, Shishuan Fairy did not blame him. However, seeing that Han Ju's cultivation level was still at the foundation establishment third level, she couldn't help but show a puzzled face. Han Ju explained, I am actually at the foundation establishment ninth level. I just wanted to keep a low profile by hiding my cultivation level. This move significantly increased Shishuan Fairy's favorable impression of him. At this moment, the system also notified Han Ju that the task of cultivating low key and gaining Shishuan Fairy's recognition was completed. He received a secret technique, sevenfold illusion step. It was then Han Ju noticed that the master had taken a new disciple. Turning his head, he saw it was none other than Old Tai. Old Tai also looked up at Han Ju at the same moment. The two of them stared at each other, shouting out each other's names simultaneously in surprise. Chan Yuer looked curious, so you two know each other. At that moment, Shishuan Fairy said to Han Ju, this is a new disciple who has just joined Jade Seclusion Peak. You can call him Tai Junior Brother. Little did she know, the expressions on their faces were as colorful as they could be. Then, Shishuan Fairy brought up a serious matter. Han Ju, since you like cultivating so much, I have a mission for you. Guard the myriad demon realm of the Jade Pure Sect. Han Ju, hearing this, broke out in a cold sweat. This myriad demon realm sounds impressive, but also seems very dangerous. However, Chan Yuer got excited. That's where the Jade Pure Sect keeps its demon pets. Let me accompany Han Junior Brother. Master, Shishuan Fairy directly refused Chan Yuer. It's very dangerous there. There are often rampages of demons, and there have been instances of disciples being brutally killed. Already worried, Han Ju was even more scared upon hearing this. Isn't this setting your disciple up for failure? It's not even being concealed. But looking at Shishuan Fairy's expression, it seems I have no chance to refuse. This should be similar to being a zoo security guard. I'll just have to slack off when the time comes. He respectfully agreed to follow the arrangement and then went back to pack his things. Seeing the two leaving, Shishuan Fairy suddenly said to Old Tai, I don't want to dwell on your past with Han Ju. From now on, you are brothers. Getting along with him will only benefit you. As long as there's no deep hatred, try to resolve it. From what I know of him, he won't scheme against you. In the future, Han Ju will be a direct disciple of Jade Seclusion Peak. Speaking of which, Han Ju had been in the Myriad Demon Realm for a year and a half, spending his days in nothing but cultivation. Browsing through the system's social feed out of boredom one day, he suddenly received several messages about Maju. Your friend Maju was attacked by a demon cultivator and nearly severely injured. Your friend Maju was attacked by a disciple of the Jade Pure Sect, hanging on for dear life, fell off a cliff. He couldn't help but sigh. Opportunities really never bring anything good. Miss Mo better just take care of herself. Then, stretching lazily, he went out to patrol. He made regular patrols to prevent any disturbances from the demons. Stepping outside, he found a cute little cat perched on a tree branch, looking harmless. He turned to walk away, but the little cat suddenly transformed into a big cat and launched a sneak attack on Han Ju. In an instant, its sharp claws tore through Han Ju, but the next second, Han Ju turned into a wisp of smoke and vanished, with the real Han Ju already on the rooftop. He had just used the sevenfold illusion step technique. This technique allows each level to split into one afterimage, and at its peak at the seventh level, it can split into seven afterimages. Han Ju split into seven afterimages and charged at the demon beast from all directions, surrounding it. All figures simultaneously executed the Supreme Finger Divine Sword, shooting numerous sword energies towards the demon beast. Although only the real body could inflict damage, the demon beast couldn't discern which was real and which was fake. In an instant, it was severely injured by Han Ju and immediately ran away. Han Ju didn't pursue it. He noticed that the demon disturbances had become more apparent recently and decided to report this situation. After the sect's higher-ups were informed of the situation, they immediately convened a meeting. They speculated that there must be a traitor within the sect's upper echelons. With the sect leader missing, they had no choice but to send more people to thoroughly investigate the matter. Two years later, Han Ju was sitting within a forbidden formation in the myriad demon realm. He discovered that this formation was a treasure. Inside the formation, even those at the Golden Core realm couldn't enter, and its soundproofing was top-notch. It was perfect for both cultivation and rest. Just as he was pleased with himself, suddenly a voice came from behind. Young friend, are you using the myriad demon realm as a place for cultivation? Han Ju casually responded. Heh, what else? But the next second, he realized something and turned around in shock, only to find a fat man standing behind him. This person is unaffected by the restrictions, then his strength must be above the golden core level. The fat man said, I am also a jade pure sect disciple sent to guard the myriad demon realm. You seem to be at the foundation establishment realm third level, but judging by your actual breathing rate, you're at the foundation establishment realm ninth level. 
right? You don't need to be nervous. Did you come here on your own, or did your master send you? My master, Shishuan Fairy, sent me here. Hearing this, the fat man leaned in closer. Did your master assign you any tasks? Even if she did, why would I tell you? Oh, can't tell others? Interesting. Junior sister. All right, kid, you've already gotten yourself into big trouble. For your master's sake, I can help you solve it. At this moment, Han Ju was startled by the relationship list that popped up from the system. It turns out this person was the Jade Pure Sex Sect leader, Li Qingzi, who admired Shishuan Fairy. Li Qingzi then explained, the demon beasts here are showing signs of unrest, and these beasts are under Demon King Tiger Heart White Dragon. You must know that Tiger Heart White Dragon holds grudges and seeks revenge for even the slightest slights. This time, commanding so many demon beasts to lurk here in preparation for an uprising. Be honest with me, what did you do before to provoke Tiger Heart White Dragon? However, at this moment, Han Ju was not interested in listening to him. His mind was filled with images of Li Qingzi and his master, Shishuan Fairy, together, feeling extremely angry inside. This fat man is not worthy of my master. Junior friend, I'm asking you a question. Han Ju then recounted the previous events to Li Qingzi. After hearing the story, Li Qingzi mused, how strange. The demon beast uprising happened earlier than expected. It seems it wasn't your doing. Most likely, the demon cult is causing trouble behind the scenes. Your encounter with Tiger Heart White Dragon was just a side episode. You're really lucky. The demon king must have been trapped into expending too much energy. Otherwise, you would have been doomed. What kind of movement technique did you use to outpace Tiger Heart White Dragon? Han Ju casually responded, just a technique I picked up on the road. It's normal for it to be faster. This frustrated Li Qingzi immensely. That's a demon king. Even Golden Core Realm experts would struggle with its speed. Right now, we need to prioritize dealing with the potential beast uprising and start from the root. Do you mean to kill it, senior? Kill it? That demon king has immense potential. If it's killed, will you compensate? Perhaps this is an opportunity. Your master sending you to the myriad demon realm must have been intended for you to make a name for yourself. Plus, your movement technique is extraordinary. Having faced Tiger Heart White Dragon and come out unscathed, you must have some tricks up your sleeve. I suggest you go and subdue it. Without hesitation, Anju turned around and left. Senior, please find someone else. I just want to cultivate in peace. Li Qingzi hurriedly called out to stop Hanju. I will set up a formation to trap them here, relieving you of the pressure. If you can subdue Tiger Heart White Dragon, I will teach you the Jade Pure Sex Supreme Technique, the Jade Purity Art. At that moment, the system popped up a choice. 1. Accept the mission. Strive to subdue Tiger Heart White Dragon and receive the secret technique reward from Li Qingzi, the hatred of the Demon King, and the attention of the Azure Nether Demon Sect. 2. Refuse the mission. Return to continue cultivating and receive a sword technique manual with a decrease in Li Qingzi's favorability. Seeing that subduing the Demon King would bring the Demon King's hatred and the Azure Nether Demon Sect's attention, Hanju decisively said, sorry for the disturbance, farewell, and then turned around to leave. This left Li Qingzi stomping his feet in frustration. How did my junior sister end up with such a disciple? Sighing helplessly, he ultimately took on the burden alone. You see, I was right, Demon King. It's truly you, easily sensing this place. Immediately, Li Qingzi engaged in a fierce battle with the Demon King. Several days after the Demon Beast uprising, Chan Yuer suddenly arrived in the myriad demon realm, accompanied by the seventh senior brother of Jade Seclusion Peak, Meng Yi. It turns out that Shishuan Fairy sent them to assist Han Ju. Meng Yi then went alone to scout the surroundings. Chan Yuer told Han Ju, this time we came because Master feared for your safety. It's said that spies from the demon cult have infiltrated the myriad demon realm. We must be extra cautious. Hearing this, Han Ju immediately suggested leaving the myriad demon realm. Just as Chan Yuer was about to refuse, Meng Yi returned, wounded all over. I saw a group of demon beasts trapped by a formation near a cliff a few miles away. I was on my way back when I encountered a golden core level demon beast. Han Ju quickly took out an elixir to heal Meng Yi, while thinking to himself, indeed, one cannot be reckless when outside. The fate of my senior brother proves it. At that moment, they were horrified to discover a horde of demon beasts charging towards them. Han Ju was ready to flee, but Chan Yuer said, this area is under the jurisdiction of our jade seclusion peak. Wouldn't leaving be considered desertion? Han Ju, devoid of any sense of martial honor, retorted, then you can stay here and wait for death. I'll sing praises of your bravery to master. Meng Yi also ceased to insist. Han Jun your brother is right. Each of the 18 peaks has its own area to manage in the myriad demon realm. The beast tide is attacking not just us. As long as we survive, there's no fear of losing the battle. Let's move, right now. No sooner had they stepped out of the house than the attic was demolished by the demon beast army. Seeing the demon beasts not stopping and continuing to charge forward, they deduced that the demon cult must be up to something. Suddenly, Han Ju sensed a strong demonic aura and saw a huge eagle with its mouth wide open biting towards them. Fortunately, Han Ju reacted in time, grabbing Chan Yuer and dodging, while Meng Yi seized the chance to escape alone. Han Ju couldn't help but curse in his heart. Damn it, that coward just abandoned us and ran for his life. Chan Yuer suddenly cried out in fear, noticing a golden
Golden Core Level Demon Beast and six Foundation Establishment Pinnacle Level Demon Beasts circling above them. As the Demon Beasts charged towards them, Chan Yuer closed her eyes in despair, thinking they were doomed. Yet, Han Ju's mouth curved into a slight smile. Around him appeared three sword shadows of different colors. The peerless sword technique he acquired by refusing Li Qingzi, the three pure shadows sword. With just a gentle utterance of the word slash from Han Ju, the seven demon beasts were instantly annihilated. Chan Yuer was utterly stunned. Had she not seen it with her own eyes, she would have never believed it. Remembering the look in Han Ju's eyes at that moment, she couldn't help but blush and feel her heart flutter. But then, she saw Han Ju packing up the corpses of the demon beasts. What a haul today. These demon beasts are treasures all over. I heard they can be exchanged for spirit stones. Let's go. Chan Yuer was rendered speechless again. Bring back my junior brother from just now. When the two arrived at the myriad demon realms teleportation array, Meng he excitedly rushed towards them upon seeing them alive. Junior brother, junior sister, you're still alive. This is wonderful, only to be met with a kick to the face from Chang Yuer. Why weren't you eaten by the demon beasts? After they emerged, Han Ju's first course of action was to exchange the demon beasts' corpses for spirit stones. Looking at a big bag full of spirit stones, Han Ju was so excited he considered going back for another round against the demon beasts. Chang Yuer, noticing Han Ju's thoughts, said, The myriad demon realm is a small world specially created by the sect for cultivating demon beasts. Each one is extremely valuable. Under normal circumstances, disciples are not allowed to hunt the demon beasts inside. This time was an exception, so we might not be held accountable. While saying this, she continued to beat Meng Yi. Hearing this, Han Ju had no choice but to give up the idea. I better just continue to cultivate quietly and save up spirit stones gradually. The amount I have left should be enough to attempt reaching the golden core. Then, the three of them went to see Shishuan Fairy and reported the events within the myriad demon realm. Shishuan Fairy didn't say much after hearing it and asked Chan Yuer and the others to leave, keeping Han Ju behind. At this point, Han Ju was extremely anxious. Is she going to settle scores with me alone? Is Master still suspicious of me? When will this ever end? Shishuan Fairy suddenly asked. Han Ju, what is the purpose of your cultivation? Only for immortality. Hearing this response, Shishuan Fairy was speechless for a moment. If you keep secluding yourself for cultivation without seeking opportunities, you cannot achieve immortality. I understand, Master, but I wish to strengthen my cultivation first. Once I have enough strength, I'll seek opportunities. Han Ju thought to himself, with my unparalleled talent and fortune, what need do I have for opportunities? Shishuan Fairy, clearly exasperated by his attitude, massaged her temples and said, I have arranged an opportunity for you. If you had made contributions in the myriad demon realm, becoming a core disciple would have been within easy reach. Unfortunately, you gave it up. Moreover, even I cannot see through the grade of the cultivation technique you practice. I can't help you with your cultivation technique. But how about this? Would you like to have your own innate spiritual energy cave dwelling? Aside from lightning spiritual energy, it contains other types of spiritual energy as well. Upon hearing this, Han Ju excitedly asked, where is it? It's near the Jade Pure Sect. However, you need to rank in the top three in the Inner Sect competition to get it. Hearing about the competition, Han Ju started to have second thoughts. The Inner Sect competition. It won't be dangerous, right? Seeing his timid appearance, Shishuan Fairy was so annoyed she felt like punching him. Are you afraid of a mere competition? It won't kill you. Han Ju then asked, Master, will there be Golden Core or above participants in the competition? Shishuan Fairy replied irritably, Do you think Golden Core Realm cultivators are as common as cabbages? Those who reach that level either become core disciples or elders, stewards. Hearing that no one above Golden Core would participate, Han Ju immediately changed his tune. I'll gladly accept that innate cave dwelling. With eight years until the inner sect examination, Han Ju planned to use this time to cultivate diligently. He immediately went to the Wind Spirit Pool, aiming to bring all six types of spiritual roots to the ninth level of the Foundation Establishment stage before the examination. Just then, he noticed a group of people bullying someone nearby, eating his melon. Han Ju thought, I better just focus on my cultivation. But suddenly, the system sent a notification. Innate Destiny detected. Would you like to view their origin? Han Ju was startled. The Innate Destiny individual was the one being bullied. His name is Zhou Fan, a reincarnation of a great vehicle cultivator, born in a mundane town. He and his childhood friend were discovered by the Jade Pure sect to have spiritual roots. Deep within his soul, he harbors a spiritual treasure that was severely damaged while protecting him. Now, to repair itself, the spiritual treasure unconsciously absorbs spiritual energy during Zhou Fan's cultivation, resulting in his extremely slow cultivation speed. Currently, the spiritual treasure is about to be successfully repaired. Han Ju was dumbfounded. Great vehicle realm, that's really something. This would make him the protagonist in a novel. He was conflicted. He's destined to be the main character. Helping him would surely lift me to great heights. No! How many side characters have been doomed by growing main characters? Better not stir trouble. He then dismissed the idea of helping. Becoming stronger through my own cultivation is the true path. Show fan. Trust in your destiny. Time flew, and eight years passed. Except for his water 
Water and Earth spiritual roots, which were at the 8th level. All others had reached the 9th level of the Foundation Establishment stage. Just after leaving the Spirit Pool, he saw Zhou Fan, who was confessing to a girl, but unsurprisingly got friend-zoned. Han Ju was about to walk past when Zhou Fan stopped him. I am Zhou Fan from Thunder Peak. I've often heard M.O.'s senior brother mention you, saying you will surely become a great cultivator of the Jade Pure sect in the future. I've always wanted to meet you. Just when Han Ju thought Zhou Fan was about to challenge him to a duel, Zhou Fan suddenly knelt down. I've heard you're quite popular with the ladies. How should I pursue the one I love? Han Ju was completely baffled and then said, Brother Zhou, you should let go of everything. How can a cultivator be mired in romantic affairs? What are women in comparison to the great Tao? If you attain the Tao, everything will gravitate towards you, and you will naturally get whatever you desire. Have you ever seen me getting close to women? This step requires your own understanding of your heart and nature. Zhou Fan, looking at Han Ju as if he were a deity, felt a slight stir in his heart, and immediately his goodwill towards Han Ju increased to one star. Han Ju thought to himself, Fool, the most important thing is appearance. Can your looks compare to mine? When Han Ju returned to Jade's seclusion peak and heard the bell summoning all disciples again, he met the eldest brother on his way to the main hall. The eldest brother suddenly asked, Han Ju, do you know a woman named Xing Hongxian? Han Ju was shocked. How does he know about her? The eldest brother continued, In these years, I follow the sect leader, lurking in the myriad demon realm, engaged in open and covert battles with the demon cult. We've always had intelligence provided by a traitor from the demon cult. It was this intelligence that made the sect leader pretend to leave the Jade Pure sect when, in reality, he was ambushing in the myriad demon realm. This traitor from the demon cult is Xing Hongxian. As a child, she was forced to take poison and threatened to act as a spy in the Jade Pure sect. She has always harbored hatred towards the demon cult, and even attempted to find an antidote in the outer sect. Later, Xing Hongxian was saved by the sect leader, who exceptionally allowed her to become an inner sect disciple. Now, Xing Hongxian is at the main peak, cultivating under Master Jingxu, the sect leader's junior sister. We encountered Miss Xing earlier, and she was inquiring about someone named Han Ju, a servant who was an alchemist. It just so happens that we have a disciple named Han Ju in our jade seclusion peak. Junior brother, what a coincidence, right? Han Ju felt awkward, unsure of how to respond. That past, although unpleasant, had to be acknowledged reluctantly. I am the Han Ju she knows. I had no choice at the time. To Han Ju's surprise, the eldest brother warmly grasped him. Don't worry, I understand. I just didn't expect your talent to be so exceptional. Han Ju finally breathed a sigh of relief. Then, he opened Xing Hongxuan's panel. I don't deserve so much goodwill, just for being devoted. I wish you a future free of hardships. When everyone gathered in the Great Hall, Xixuan Fairy announced, the inner sect examination is about to begin. Each peak must send at least 10 people. Who wishes to participate? Immediately, almost everyone eagerly volunteered. Seeing almost everyone sign up, Han Ju thought, with everyone so enthusiastic, I should show some support to avoid seeming out of place. However, Xixuan Fairy chose Han Ju first, causing everyone to look at him in surprise. Han Ju panicked. No, not, master. I didn't actually raise my hand, but Xixuan Fairy didn't even look at him, continuing to select other disciples for the competition. After the selection was completed, Xixuan Fairy once again kept Han Ju behind alone. Your cultivation has improved again. I really underestimated you. Even with cultivating three types of spiritual roots, your breakthrough speed remains the fastest in the Jade Pure sect. Han Ju modestly responded, It's all thanks to the master's excellent guidance. Master is the impressive one. I don't recall teaching you anything. Your cultivation technique and swordsmanship are excellent, but are not the supreme techniques of the Jade Pure sect. You must have had another master before. I've observed you since you joined the sect. You've been diligently cultivating without any intention to harm the sect. Others have testified that you were born in the outer sect, which indicates you encountered an opportunity in your youth. Everyone has their own fortunes, and I'm not one to pry. I mention this only to let you know that you can be at ease during the inner sect examination. No one will trouble you over these matters. To avoid unnecessary complications, from today onwards, you are my direct disciple. Han Ju was startled, but at this moment, the system awarded him for becoming a direct disciple with the Nine Dragons Demon Subduing Seal. Overjoyed, Han Ju said, Thank you, Master. Long live the Master. After returning to his cave dwelling, Han Ju began to learn the Nine Dragons Demon Subduing Seal. This third magical technique, akin to a palm technique, could produce different effects with different attributes of spiritual power, adding another ace to Han Ju's hand. However, he soon began to worry about the great destructive power of these techniques. Then, Chan Yuer came to Han Ju's cave and took him to see the announcement board. The examination tomorrow will involve one-on-one -on -one battles across the peaks until the top 10 are decided. Then, the battles will move to the inner sect city for the final showdown, with the whole sect watching. Han Ju was relieved to learn that not many would watch the fights until the top 10 were decided. I don't want to attract too much attention. As Han Ju was about to leave, Xing Hongxian suddenly appeared behind him. Husband, Han Ju hastily took a step back. Miss, you can't just call someone that. Xing Hongxian covered her mouth and chuckled. Didn't we agree on this back in the outer sect? Han Ju was speechless. That was
was just acting to avoid conflict. If I refused you, I was afraid you would kill me. It's okay, I took it seriously. Xing Hongxian laughed, pulling out a bottle of elixir. This is the jade purity pill. I don't really use it much. It's perfect for you. Without allowing Han Ju to refuse, Xing Hongxian placed the elixir in his hand. Just accept it. I get these elixirs regularly. My talents are average, but if you need anything later, husband, I will do my best to help you. After speaking, she flew away on her sword. Han Ju held the elixir in his hand, standing there dazed for a long time. The scene shifts to a dark hall, where Xing Hongxian is sitting opposite Master Jingxu. You gave that young man the jade purity pill. Do you have any regrets? I don't regret it. I've fallen hard. Foolish. Just because he has a pretty face? Isn't that enough? I don't see the value in providing such strong support. His talent is also exceptional. When I met him, he hadn't begun cultivating yet. According to the sect leader, he's now at the ninth level of the foundation establishment realm. How strange. With such talent, why haven't I heard of him over the years? The sect leader said he's very low profile, always busy with closed door cultivation. The sect leader even wanted to offer him opportunities, but he refused, citing fear of death. Hearing this, Master Jingxu smiled slightly. Interesting. It seems I also need to pay more attention to him. On the day of the competition, when Han Ju arrived at the venue, he was stunned. I didn't expect so many spectators. How am I supposed to act now? Then the system presented Han Ju with two options. The Jade Pure Sect Inner Sect examination is about to begin. You have the following options. 1. Wing conspicuously, becoming famous throughout the Jade Pure Sect and receive a thousand high-quality spirit stones. 2. Win the top three positions in a low-key manner, minimizing impact, and receive one spiritual treasure. Seeing the second option offering a spiritual treasure as a reward, Han Ju immediately chose it with joy, simultaneously thinking to himself, this system really gets me. It seems like there's always a low-key option for every mission, probably related to the path of development I chose initially. He was confident. With this approach, I can remain undefeated in the world. Soon the competition began. Mafuchu and his sister also came to watch Han Ju's match. However, on the stage, Han Ju was clumsily dodging the opponent's attacks, while his opponent from Heavenly Execution Peak became more excited as the fight progressed. The audience found the fight dull and started leaving for other matches. Only Mafuchu knew Han Ju was feigning weakness, noticing that the spectator stands were nearly empty and the judges were dozing off. Han Ju thought, my chance has arrived. With a sly smile, Han Ju moved behind his opponent, and in the next second, his opponent was sent flying out of the ring. The loud impact woke the judges, who then realized the fight was over, with Han Ju as the victor. Afterward, Han Ju used the same tactic, waiting until there were almost no spectators before swiftly defeating his opponents, successfully entering the top 10. While cultivating one day, Han Ju sensed something was amiss. The leaves weren't rustling, but he could hear the wind. Suddenly, streaks of dark energy appear out of nowhere, flying towards him. Without a word, Han Ju responded with a nine dragons demon subduing seal. Seeing the dark energy trying to flee, Han Ju, as if the nine dragons demon subduing seal cost him nothing, chased the dark shadow, relentlessly attacking. Suddenly, a wail came from the shadow. Wait, stop, halt, I am a supreme elder of the Jade Pure Sect. How can the Jade Pure Sect have someone like you who disrespects their elders so blatantly? Han Ju was stunned for a moment, seeing the old man continue to rage. I was just passing by, and you, you greet me with your most powerful attacks. Han Ju was speechless. Senior, in the dead of night, your actions are suspicious. What are you trying to do? Mph. The divine ability I cultivate naturally acts this way, soul projection. Do you understand? However, the old man was visibly frightened. What in the world was that spell you used? It almost annihilated my spirit. Are inner sect disciples these days also intense? Han Ju was about to report the incident to his master when the old man hurriedly stopped him. Don't, don't, don't tell her. I apologize. Actually, your master is my disciple, and so is the current sect leader. He then gave a sly smile. Young man, you have an extraordinary physique. How about inheriting my mantle? The unparalleled technique, heavenly strong golden body. Only I and the sect leader in the entire Jade Pure sect know it. Upon seeing the old man's secret manual, Han Ju didn't think twice before refusing. I almost killed the old man just now. How could he suddenly be so benevolent? He must be trying to trick me. Afterwards, Han Ju told Shishuan Fairy about the incident. Shishuan Fairy was speechless. That old troublemaker is at it again. By the way, Master, is the heavenly strong golden body powerful? That senior wanted to teach it to me. Shishuan Fairy's face turned red. It's very powerful. Arguably the strongest technique in the Jade Pure sect. Sect. But before practicing it, one must sever the human root. What's the human root? The essence of a man. Hearing this, Han Ju was speechless. Does that mean the sect leader and the supreme elder are? Shishuan Fairy coughed lightly. This matter must not be spread. Leaving the meeting, Han Ju was still in shock for a long time. Those are some extreme measures. Soon, it was the day of the inner sect examination for the top 10. Looking at the surging crowd, Han Ju thought to himself, it's going to be hard to play it down this time. Should I just go for a quick victory? At that moment, Chan Yuer also came over with an entire chair leading squad to support Han Ju. Suddenly, Han Ju felt a gaze on him. Turning around, he saw Zhou Fan staring at him intently, his eyes filled with
with a fighting spirit. Just then, Mashu also came over to cheer for Han Ju. Brother Han, I believe in you. You'll definitely take first place. Chan Yuer immediately became wary of Mashu. Who are you? None of your business. I suggest you grow up a bit more, or Han Jr. brother might end up in jail. A strong tension instantly erupted between the two women. Then, Xing Hongxian also approached. Husband, this was like a spark hitting the earth. How dare you call him husband? I'm happy to. The air thickened with tension among the three women. This is a disaster. Finally, the examination officially began. The first match was Han Ju against Zhou Fan. Zhou Fan angrily asked, Han Ju, you said you never got close to women? Han Ju helplessly replied, I can't help it. What else can I do? I'm also desperate. At that moment, Zhou Fan raised his left hand, revealing a black small bell in his palm, ominously mysterious. It was indeed Zhou Fan's innate spiritual treasure. Brother Han, go all out, please. Don't hold back. Brother Han, you first. Seeing Zhou Fan so confident, Han Ju took the match seriously. Three sword energies appeared around him. Zhou Fan's eyes flashed purple, and spiritual energy enveloped him, showcasing the skill granted by his spiritual treasure. Absolute defense. Han Ju wasted no words. His sword energies shot towards Zhou Fan like lightning. To everyone's shock, Zhou Fan's prized skill was shattered by Han Ju's strike, sending him flying like a kite without a string. Everyone was bewildered. Is it over already? Soon the top five were decided. The next step was to draw lots for the matchups, with the red lot getting a buy directly into the top three. Han Ju casually drew a lot and ended up with the buy. I have to say, this supreme luck of mine is no joke. At this moment, Han Ju remembered that being in the top three meant he could choose an innate cave dwelling. Now that I'm already in the top three, doesn't that mean I can't? After a series of intense battles, the top three were finally decided. Just as an elder was about to announce the rules for the final round, Han Ju immediately conceded. I exhausted my spiritual power to win quickly in the previous match and have it recovered. I'm willing to take third place. The elder looked deeply at Han Ju, then announced that Han Ju had secured the third place. At this moment, Han Ju also received his system reward, the Golden Cicada Mystical God Robe, a seventh grade spiritual treasure that could automatically defend against an enemy's attack, withstanding a strike from a spirit transformation cultivator at its maximum. If spiritual power is injected into it, its defensive power will be enhanced. Han Ju was immediately thrilled to the point of drooling. When the examination ended, the Dao Lei Elder took the top three to the main peak hall. At that time, true person Jing Su came in front of them, saying, as a reward, the three innate cave mansions will be chosen by the first place first. With a stretch of her right hand, three light spheres flew out immediately, each innate cave mansion landing on the edge of the mountains outside Jade Creek's 18 peaks. These light spheres from the cave mansions will guide and lead you. After the first two made their selections, a white light sphere remained. The energy attribute of this mansion is quite mixed, but its concentration of spiritual energy is comparable to a spirit pool. Han Ju saw this and could hardly contain his joy. This is most suitable for my cultivation with six spiritual roots. Soon, Han Ju followed the light sphere to his cave mansion. He couldn't wait to take out the golden cicada mystical god robe and immediately put it on. Once worn, it was like the emperor's new clothes, completely invisible. But Han Ju felt a sense of security like never before. Half a month passed in this manner. One day, Zhou Fan and Mafuchu came to the outside of Han Ju's cave mansion. Zhou Fan couldn't help but wonder, is this really Han Ju's mansion? Mafuchu pointed to a few large characters outside the cave. A moment of patience leads to a vast sky and ocean. This was undoubtedly Han Ju's mansion at a glance. When Han Ju inside heard Mafuchu's voice, he immediately came to the entrance. What brings my two brothers here? Mafuchu expressed. Recently, the sect issued many missions regarding the Azure Nether Demon sect. Are you interested in joining us to take down a branch of the Azure Nether Demon sect? I've already investigated. That branch has many spiritual pills and wonderful medicines, sure to aid in your cultivation. However, Han Ju directly refused without a second thought. Thank you for your kindness, but I do not wish to leave at the moment. I need to go into seclusion to break through. I wish you both a future as splendid as brocade. Hearing this, Mafuchu immediately said, if you do the mission with us, the tribulation crossing pill we obtain will be given to you first. Han Ju suddenly stopped in his tracks. Mafuchu thought this had moved him. Indeed, to invite Han Ju, we must speak of cultivation. Cultivation not only requires opportunities, but also a stepping stone. Without a stepping stone, one cannot go far. He is not reconciled. The look in his eyes says it all. However, However, he was actually looking at the choices given to him by the system. You have received an invitation from your fellow disciples. Facing fame and gain, you have the following choices. 1. Agree with them, go together to achieve merits, and obtain a low-grade spirit stone. 2. Refuse them, cultivate low-key, and obtain a magical tool. Seeing these options, Han Ju was speechless. Is there even a choice? He immediately refused their invitation. Two years later, Han Ju finally perfected his six series spiritual power, and began to break through to the golden core. It is said that only two or three out of every Every 10 foundation establishment cultivators succeed in breaking through, not because the heavenly tribulation is terribly frightening, but because of the inner demons. It is rumored that inner demons are so terrifying that even a mortal
mortals fear them. But when the inner demon encountered Han Ju, it regretted being born. It kept tempting Han Ju. You are already strong enough. No need to hide anymore. Show the world your strength. Whether you aspire to be utterly benevolent and reach sainthood, or to overturn all beings and make unilateral decisions for all ages, it depends on your single thought. Who knew that after hearing this, Han Ju actually asked, is that all? Then, with a wave of his hand, he eliminated the inner demon. Next, he just needed to concentrate on facing the heavenly tribulation. Seven days later, Han Ju successfully entered the Golden Core Realm. The system rewarded Han Ju with a supreme magical sword, the Chilin Sword. This sword, made from the sinews and bones of a Chilin, contains the soul of a Chilin and has the effect of driving away evil. He also obtained a divine ability, Six Paths Soul Absorption. However, what made Han Ju happiest was that his lifespan had increased again. He immediately set a small goal for himself, to break through to the nascent soul within a hundred years. He then decided to relax and check his friend's circle, only to be shocked by what he saw. He found out that sect leader Li Qingzi had been attacked by demon cultivators multiple times. The sect leader has been attacked by the demon cult so many times, staying in the Jade Pure sect might not be safe. Could it be that the Azure Nether demon sect has attacked the Jade Pure sect? I wonder how my master is doing. It's best to go and reassure her. So, he immediately set off towards the Great Hall of Jade Seclusion Peak. However, along the way, the Jade Pure sect was in turmoil, with smoke signals of distress everywhere, and countless injured. Han Ju hurriedly went to the Great Hall to pay respects to Shishuan Fairy. Shishuan Fairy narrowed her eyes. You still know to come back? I thought you had already betrayed the sect. Han Ju was embarrassed, just as he was about to explain. Shishuan Fairy continued, The Jade Pure sect is about to face an unprecedented disaster. I will give you a chance. You can leave the Jade Pure sect directly. Hearing this, Han Ju was shocked. At the same time, he received a choice from the system. The sect leader of the Jade Pure sect is in danger, with life and death uncertain. You have the following choices. 1. Leave the Jade Pure sect and wander the world of cultivation, and receive an energy gathering pill. 2. Stay in the Jade Pure sect until it is destroyed, or the Azure Nether Demon sect gives up targeting the Jade Pure sect and receive a magical tool and a spell manual. He subconsciously wanted to choose the first option, then slowly asked, What about you, Master? Shishuan Fairy remained calm. I will live or die together with the Jade Pure sect. In that case, then I, as your disciple, will also live or die with my master. At this moment, Shishuan Fairy's favorability towards Han Ju increased to three stars. Han Ju suddenly had a thought. Wouldn't it be possible to develop into a cultivation partner if this goes up by another star? Shishuan Fairy was taken aback. Aren't you afraid of death? Everyone dies, either as light as a feather or as heavy as mount. I pursue immortality, but I don't want to abandon my master. Meanwhile, he thought to himself, unless I encounter an irresistible enemy, I would definitely prioritize my own life. But I haven't taught you much. You don't need to do this. No, although you haven't taught me directly, your kindness is profound. Master has fought for opportunities for me several times and helped me solve some potential troubles. I keep all these in my heart. These words were truly from Han Ju's heart. In this life, Shishuan Fairy is the person who has been the kindest to me. Seeing Han Ju's heartfelt words, Shishuan Fairy couldn't help but smile. Then she asked, Have you encountered any difficulties in your cultivation recently? You can cultivate with me like Chan Yuer. Han Ju weakly replied, No, there's no need to trouble Master. Hearing this, Shishuan Fairy was speechless. Stinky boy, you actually don't want my guidance. After Han Ju left, Shishuan Fairy handed a storage bag to Chan Yuer. Help your junior brother as I instructed. Everything is in this storage pouch. When Han Ju returned to his cave mansion, he found Chan Yuer there. It turned out Shishuan Fairy had asked her to help arrange Han Ju's cave mansion. A formation was set up at the entrance to conceal the cave mouth. If someone tries to forcefully enter, they will be trapped in an illusion and unable to extricate themselves. Also, spiritual herbs were planted inside the cave to amplify the surrounding spiritual energy. Han Ju was so excited that he quickly thanked his senior sister and master. No need for thanks. How about I move in after a while to keep you company? Han Ju immediately swallowed nervously and cautiously said, Senior sister, are you planning to mooch off the spiritual energy in my cave mansion? Chang Yuer immediately became so angry that she trembled all over. Cultivation. All you know is cultivation. Get lost. Thus, Han Ju holed up in his cave mansion for another five years. Now at the third level of the Golden Core Realm. One day, he was scrolling through his friend's circle and noticed that Mafuchu and Zhou Fan had also made it to the list. Your friends Mafuchu and Zhou Fan were attacked by demon cultivators. He once again felt fortunate that he had not joined them back then. Just then, the system suddenly alerted, detected an innate destiny individual. Han Ju immediately checked the history. This person, named Chen Santian, was a born demon embryo, now a main core disciple of the Azure Nether Demon sect. At this moment, outside Han Ju's cave mansion, a man in black looked at the inscription by Han Ju. A moment of patience leads to a vast sky and ocean. Shh, ridiculous. People of the Jade Pure sect really are cowards. He wondered, how can there be such big characters in this wilderness? Could it be a cave mansion? But he couldn't find any door. At that moment, Han Ju, at the entrance of the cave
cave mansion, Hurt and Santian calling him a cower, furious, veins popping on his body. After confirming that the visitor was alone, he sternly said, Good, you're done. As Chen Santian suddenly sensed a murderous aura, before he could react, three sword energies, like lightning, pierced through Chen Santian's body, sending him flying dozens of meters away like a sandbag. With three more sword shadows hovering above his head, terrified, Chen Santian screamed, Elder, please stop, what are you doing at the Jade Pure sect? It's all a misunderstanding, Elder, I was just passing by here. Chen Santian was panicking internally, I had investigated and found no such powerful sword cultivator Elder in the Jade Pure sect. Could this person be the Jade Pure sect's supreme Elder? Han Ju, appearing behind Chen Santian at some unknown time, said, Chen Santian, innate demon embryo, a major disciple of the Azure Nether Demon sect. If I hand you over to the Jade Pure sect, what do you think your fate would be? Chen Santian's heart was in turmoil. How does he know my background? Chen Santian quickly turned around to beg Han Ju for mercy, but when he saw Han Ju was so young and only at the ninth level of foundation establishment, could it be he is the disciple of the Elder? Han Ju was hesitating whether to kill him or capture him. If the sect leader has been captured, could I use him as a bargaining chip for exchange? Unbeknownst to him, Chen Santian suddenly darted behind Han Ju, putting a knife to Han Ju's neck, and shouted back towards the cave mansion, Elder, let me leave. Otherwise, I will kill your disciple. Han Ju was instantly speechless. Well, just to interrupt, I don't have any disciples. Chen Santian immediately dropped the sword in his hand, and knelt down abruptly, sweating profusely. Elder, I was just joking. Meanwhile, cursing in his heart, Elder at the ninth layer of the foundation establishment realm, who would believe that? It must be a trick to deceive the eyes, to be able to suppress me directly, and even know my background. This Elder must be a highly skilled person. Escaping is impossible. Han Ju, speechless, a major disciple of the demon cult. Is this it? Is he too weak, or is the three pure shadow sword too strong? Then, Han Ju walked towards the cave. You, come with me. Han Ju originally wanted to hand him over to his master, knowing that he would surely try to escape desperately, but I only know how to kill. I don't have the power to suppress him. Thinking this, Han Ju suddenly asked Chen Santian to strike him with all his might with a sword. Chen Santian immediately trembled. This elder isn't looking for a reason to kill me, is he? Terrified to the point of deformation. Elder, I know I was wrong. I truly realize my mistake. Come on, give it a try. It'll prevent you from always thinking about ambushing me. Chen Santian was scared to tears, convinced it was another trap set for him. Han Ju, speechless. Am I that scary? This major disciple of the demon cult is really too cowardly. He then instructed, fine, from today on, you'll stay here. You'll plant spiritual herbs and clean for me. Of course, you can also cultivate. A year passed, and Chen Santian saw that Han Ju was always cultivating and never left. He thought, the elder is too devoted to cultivation, never leaving. It's been a year staying here. Continuing like this will delay the transmission of information. As the main core disciple, not returning for so long, the elders and my master in the sect must be worried. What should I do? Should I betray him? Immediately, he gathered spiritual energy in his hand and launched a sneak attack on Han Ju. Han Ju sensed something off and simply turned his head to look. Suddenly, the atmosphere changed. Chen Santian hurriedly explained, sorry for the disturbance, there was a mosquito. I'll go clean the cave now. The elder should get more sunlight. The system alerted that Chen Santian's hatred for Han Ju had grown to four stars. Han Ju was speechless. I've never tortured him in this past year, and now the hatred has even escalated to a point of no return. This is really troublesome. Meanwhile, Chen Santian was thinking, once I escape, I must avenge the debts of this year. Suddenly, he widened his eyes in shock. A hole the size of a human head appeared in Chen Santian's chest. The work of Han Ju's attack, I gave you a chance, and you wasted it. Being obedient at least had the value of being a bargaining chip. Now, it's unnecessary. Han Ju also started to feel a headache, thinking about the cliché in novels. Kill the minion, and the boss comes. Kill the boss, and an even bigger boss comes. Sure enough, a dark energy slowly drifted out from Chen Santian's body, and a figure emerged from the dark energy. Very well, you killed my beloved disciple. You all will die. Do you dare to state your name? I'm Loki. And you? As your nether demon sect. Zhang Kunmo. Loki, I will remember you. Wait for your death. After saying this, he dissipated into thin air. At this moment, the system alerted. Zhang Kunmo has developed hatred towards you. Current hatred level, 5 stars. Han Ju was internally panicking, 5 stars? Damn, that's high. Then, Han Ju opened the relationship list. Nascent soul realm level 8. Not yet at spirit transformation. I should still be able to handle him. Still, better contact the sect to send someone over to clean up. 